Okay, so that was the ride on the Harley Davidson. My first ride on a Harley Davidson, I was quite impressed with it actually. From what I'd heard, wasn't expecting anything too flash. But that bike that I was on was very nice to ride. So there was a couple of things. One, I think, it was seats. I'm nowhere near as comfortable as the other bikes I've got. I don't think I would be wanting to ride that for six or eight hours in a day. Might end up with a very sore butt. The yeah, pickup on the bike was very good. The indicator setup, the ignition setup was all very good. Um, uh, the actual suspension on the bike seemed pretty good, as I say, I only took it on road and didn't do any high speed stuff, but uh, it certainly was handled what I was throwing at it. Um, I was quite surprised at the pickup of the bike too. So, uh, as I say, I thought being the V twin cruiser sort of thing, or the V twin motor, it would be a lot more plotty, similar to the Yamaha, but they actually do, as soon as you hit that accelerator, she wants to just boom. So the balance of the bike, etc., that was pretty good. I didn't feel it. Um, well, I felt at ease the whole time. It's just like the first couple of takeoffs, the clutch is very much, as soon as you start moving your clutch out, the um, accelerator grabs, or the throttle grabs, and away you go which as I say I was very surprised with, I thought they'd be a very much more sluggish sort of bike. This bike for example, you've got to let the clutch a long way out before it actually engages the motor. before it engages. As I say, that was just fractional when you were away. Actually, after riding that, I think I might want to adjust a few of my other bikes. Clutches up a bit. Saturday. Basically, the guy from Harley Davidson said, Oh, you come in Saturday morning, we'll just set you up, you can ride one after the other. I was like, Yep, cool. The uh, guy down at In City Motors in Big Park uh, was the same. There are four bikes down there that I wouldn't mind trying, so might have to break it up over a couple of weekends. Well, 
so I've driven the six bikes at the moment, two CBRs, 100, uh, 1000s for test rides, uh, the Honda Hornet 900, uh, a Hibusa, but that was prior to starting to video, etc. Uh, the M Yamaha MT10 and the Harley Davidson that I just read. I just read. The other one that I did test ride was the little Honda CBR 500, but I ended up buying that, so I don't really count that as a test ride. So. I think if I test ride them and then I end up buying, yeah, yeah I suppose it is still a test ride, isn't it? But, but I don't know how many different types of bikes there are out there in the world, but I think it'll take me years to get through all the ones that I can. And I dare say there'll be some bikes that I just go, yeah, I like that, so I might do two or three rides on those. The idea, as I say, riding bikes is just getting out there having fun. That's what I'm doing. And hopefully, a little bit informative as well. So as I say, that's part of the idea of the channel is to test ride as many different bikes as I can. So a bike you want me to test ride, let me know and I'll um, see if I can find one to take it for a spin. Also I want to do a few of the old classic bikes as well but that will come. So at the moment I am sort of in the market for a uh, 900 plus cc bike leading towards the super bikes but I don't think I would take the Harley Davidson over the super bike And I dare say by the time I ride a lot more bikes I'll find something that really just makes me cream me pants every time I jump on it and that'll be what I go for I think. The MT10 was a little bit like that, it was like yeah. I do want to ride the MT-01, I was supposed to do that last weekend but unfortunately didn't uh, get out of bed in time on the Saturday to go down to where I had to ride it in time so I ended up missing out on that one, it's still available so one day Probably what I'd need to do is take a week off work and just go around riding bikes. That would be that would be an awesome way to spend a week. 
basically on someone's fields, flooding the land. Someone else's field is flooding the land. Most of them have been from dealers, etc. And they're quite happy for you to take them out. It's nice to let them know what you're doing. 